Hello! Today I want to spend some time talking about fermatas. It seems to be quite a pain point for many of you to address technically a fermata. Let's start with the fact that we can distinguish between two types of fermata. One that is at the end of the piece and one that is in the middle of a piece. The one at the end of the piece is probably the easiest to address. Hello everyone, welcome to Conducting Pills. I am Gian Maria Grillo, I'm a conductor and a composer, and uh, I'm here to try to help you out with your technical challenges uh, in conducting technique. If you have any questions or any comments, just leave them down here, and I will do my best to answer them in the next episodes of Conducting Pills. And now, let's go back to the fermatas. What you want to do simply is to get to the end position, hold the sound, and then close with your left hand. What you want to avoid is closing with both hands. It's first of all redundant and it, it doesn't look that nice also. It doesn't add any particular value or clarity to your gesture. One uh, thing that I would consider would be to uh, close the fermata in the tempo that um, you were conducting at. So if you were doing at pom pom pim pim pi off. If the tempo was pom pom pim pim pi off. The cutoff of the fermata is not something outside the music. It's still part of the music. You know, the music hasn't uh, exactly finished yet. Uh, we are closing the orchestra, but the sound is still going. And that is still part of the music that you perform. So if you do it outside of the tempo that you were conducting at, Sure, it will work, but it will be outside of the picture that you painted thus far. The other type of fermata, which is a little more challenging probably, is the one that you have in the middle of a piece. Now here again we can distinguish uh, between uh, two different um, types. Uh, there's one type of fermata that uh, has a rest after it, which means that you can simply close it and then give an upbeat to keep going. And there's a type of fermata, and there's a fermata that doesn't have a rest in between. Let's take this excerpt, for instance, from Tchaikovsky's series for string. Once we get to the fermata bar, pim, pim, what we need to do is to give an upbeat for the orchestra to, to come off the fermata itself. Pim, click. So we don't close the fermata in this case, we just hold the sound. Pam, 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 pam. Fermata, hold the sound, click. Um. Same thing, hold the sound, do not close the fermata, and go. Um. And so forth. This is one place where you don't need to close the fermata because you're holding the sound and how the sound carries over. The important thing is that you give a click and you give a pulse exactly in the tempo that you want to move forward. Another type of fermata is, for instance, at the beginning of Beethoven 5. What do we have here is a fermata on the second tight bar, right? Um, pa, 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 pi, um, pa, 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 pi. Now, if you close the fermata here and then you give uh, an upbeat and a downbeat, effectively you're adding a bar. And then it becomes um, pa, 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 pi, off one extra bar and then um, pa, 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 pi, pa, pi, pa, pi, pa, pi, pa, pi. The trick here is to combine both movements. Um, pa, 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 pi, um, pa, 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 pi. Now, as you close with your left hand, you also lift with your right hand. And then you pulse on the downbeat. This way you can ensure that you're not adding an extra bar to Beethoven's music. The last example is uh, something that you may have after a slow introduction. In any given symphony, you can have a slow introduction which ends before the Allegro starts. This is the most similar to the end of the piece because you close the fermata and then 
you restart. The important thing is that, of course, you give an upbeat in the new tempo. So if it goes pam, papim, papim, papi, off, um, pa, 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 pam, bibi, off, um, pa, 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 pi, pa, pi, pa, pi, pa, pi, pa, pi, pa, pi, pa, pi. What you need to keep though is the tension in order to move forward. So don't drop down your hands after you close the fermata. Papin, papi, off, and then we go again. Now, keep it there, keep your hands there because that keeps the tension and keeps the intensity and the direction uh, of, uh, of the piece. The piece is not finished. It's just come to a brief break before continuing. We take a breath and then we move forward. Thank you for watching. If you still have any questions or any doubts about the fermatas, just let me know in the comments down here. For more in-depth technical videos, head over to my website where you can find uh, many articles and videos about conducting and conducting technique. Till next time, have fun practicing, have fun with music and be kind to yourself. Ciao!